My name is Robert Garza. I'm fortunate to serve as the president here at Palo Alto College. Palo Alto College is an amazing place that is located right here in the south side of San Antonio. Many of our students have challenges such as finances, home insecurity, food insecurity, and they're trying to find that path. We can have a conversation and help them get re-engaged and re-enrolled in the institution so that they can get their college education, whether it's going to be for the workforce or to that four-year institution. We care so much about our students when they get here that if you stop coming to Palo Alto College, communities and schools with Palo Alto College, we send somebody to your home. We go and we knock on your door and we say, what's going on? My name is Celeste Contreras. I am Donna Dennis and we are the re-engagement coordinators at Palo Alto College. We connect the student and their families to support services, whether that is in the community with us, communities and schools, or with the campus. We'll leave a care package. So if we miss them, at least they can see that we were thinking about them and someone showed up. My name is Jessica Vallejo. I am a freshman in Palo Alto. Miss Donna gave me a call saying that if I were to be enrolled, that I would have a lot of help, uh, including like getting financial help if it were to pay a bill at home or if it were to pay like groceries and stuff like that. And that opportunity made it so much easier for me to say, you know what, I can sign up for college. If I can get that help, I can sign up. I can pay for my classes. And if it wasn't for Ms. Donna, I honestly would not be here right now. With CIS, Jessica has been able to stay in school. I know that that was a huge barrier that she was finding very difficult. So now she's just able to not worry about different obstacles that may stop her from coming to school. I want people in the community to know that even if you didn't have a role model that showed you how to do everything correctly, I guarantee you there's definitely somebody on campus who will help. My name is Leslie Fink and I'm the Transition Coordinator for Communities and Schools here at Palo Alto College. Every student is has different needs, right? And so for William, I thought it was important to check in with him to make those connections to say, hey, somebody's still checking on you, somebody's still, you know, cares what's going on um, and then also see what does he need in his life. My name is William. I'm a Marine Corps veteran. This is my sophomore year at Palo Alto College. Ms. Fink spoke about how all students struggle. I understood where she was coming from. At that point, I was very timid and shy and quiet, and I was kind of hiding. I felt like she was almost talking to me. It was a freshman year, kind of out of place, didn't know where I fit in. Thinking about if I had any issues, who I could reach out to, because I never knew if, even as an older student, coming back to school, I would have problems. My experience after active duty in the Marines, I struggled with many mental health issues from anxiety to depression to social anxiety. Communities and schools has helped me, especially Ms. Fink. She's been very positive to me, always giving me positive reinforcement, reassurance of I'm on the right path, I'm doing the right thing, keep it up. She always tells me I'm amazing. And it's just a good positive jolt of energy to keep me motivated to move forward. I went from an introvert to an extrovert and I try to still break down barriers and walls that I'm kind of carrying. I'm just excited. It's been a great journey and I'm very grateful. It makes me so like so proud of him uh, because I know he's capable of doing all the things that he says he's gonna do. I think he is ready and he's equipped with the resources and the skills to overcome the next set of obstacles that are coming and uh, just just ready to, to blossom. And so we're very grateful for communities and schools. We're very grateful for the opportunities. And I think colleges and universities can look at this as a foundation point to making sure that their communities and their students are successful.